Make sure you wash your veggies and your fruit. I see stars and you kiss me. When the money comes, she gon' miss me. I see stars and you kiss me. When the money comes, she gon' miss me. She put up our 50 50. I was missing that with the whiskey. What's the deal, LS family? We are back with a food video. I would say cooking, but we're really not gonna get on the stove. But today I'm gonna be making some vegan tuna. I'm also gonna be making, I would say six layer dip. You know, like with the refried beans, sour cream, cheese, all that good stuff. And I am going to be making an avocado salad. I just wanted to show you guys how to make easy, quick vegan meals on the go vegan meals for lunch. Right now I'm gonna start with the tuna sandwich. So let's get to it. LT, I don't know if she's gonna be stepping in or not. Uh, I doubt that she's gonna help me prep anything. If anything, I know she wants to taste. I'm gonna eat every day. I got some chickpeas from Whole Food. It was from a can. For those that don't know, this is the best vegan mayo. All your heart. I got mine with the grapeseed oil. And I got some Dijon mustard from Whole Food. $2. Easy. Loaf of bread, celery, and the onion. I'm so excited. I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to eat. Okay, well, can you help me? Because the faster we do it, the faster we do it, the faster you'll be able to eat. That's what we're gonna do. So for the uh, chickpeas, we're gonna mush them and uh, then we're gonna add everything else into it. So babe, work on mushing these and I'm gonna be cutting up the celery and the onion. I don't know if you guys know that it's very detrimental for you to wash your vegetables. I don't care if the store says that they're pre-washed, please wash your vegetables. Step number uno. I'm just going to use about two of these celery sticks because we're making a small portion just for me and her. So rinse these off. Wash them real good. And if it has a sticker on it, please take off the sticker first and then you wash them. It's not clean if you have to take the sticker off, okay? She scared me with this knife right here. Now she mushing them. Don't get mushed. Get your ass mushed. Baby, do you like chickpeas? Uh, it, it depends on certain things I do. I was gonna I say. Like hummus. Well, have you ever ate real tuna before? I don't like tuna. Tuna is good though. It was, it was good. That like, for me, becoming a vegan, it was pretty easy, but the hardest thing to shake was seafood and cheese. I was gonna say, will you tell them what's your favorite vegan cheese? Follow your heart. Follow your heart is her favorite. Damn, Choi though, it depends. Choi? Choi? Yeah. It just depends on what, what I'm doing or what I'm eating. So I chopped up all the celery, I'm gonna put them in here. Dice them up super small. I wanna know, do you guys, wash the onion even if you peel the layers off of it i'm very curious because i'm just very scared of having any dirt on my veggies my expertise is done right now y'all and they're sure not they're sure not um <laughs> wash your onion you guys please i'm gonna just use half of one like i said uh i don't have a lot of chickpeas I'm only gonna make one sandwich for right now. You still need it? Yeah. You know what I need you to do? I'm gonna show you the finished product of the mushed chickpeas. I hope she didn't mush them with 
too much like mashed potatoes. She don't know what tuna is, you guys, so. She don't know what tuna is. Well, you don't know the consistency of it. <laughs> All right, you guys, I have my diced celery and diced onions. So what I'm gonna do is just add the chickpeas into this bigger bowl so I can be able to mix it all together. You still leaving? Bye, you can leave, it's okay. You know, you don't wanna be here, you just want to eat. I'm just saying, I wanna be, I wanna be you. This is the chickpeas mushed up. Hopefully they don't fall out. <laughs> the celery and onions. We're gonna put that in here. I don't know how much mayo you should use, so I'm just gonna say put as much as you feel it needs, because we nobody likes no dry tuna, whether it's real fish or vegan. So I'll show you how much I'll probably put in here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't want that to fall. Uh, we popping bottle tags today, okay? What? I've never seen Dijon mustard this like light. Brown, I guess. I don't know. It looked like sand to me. <laughs> but um, it smells like Dijon mustard. I guess it is really organic. I don't know. I'm just gonna pour as much as I think. Um, just mix it up. I think I put enough mayonnaise the first time around. Mix it up real good. Make sure all of it has that mayonnaise in there. <laughs> Definitely does look like tuna. Let me put some seasoning in there. Oh, this tuna, this tuna, this tuna don't stink. I mean, <laughs> this tuna smells good. This ain't no stink to it. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna just keep it real simple. Black pepper, Creole seasoning. You cannot forget paprika. And of course, a little salt. Just season it to your liking. Cause I don't know the measurements. You know black people don't know measurements. We just gonna season it how we see fit. I don't know about y'all, but I love coarse um, ground black pepper. Cajun seasoning, just a little bit. A little bit of paprika. Pink Himalaya sauce. What is that, that part that Martin be saying? The pimp from the Himalayas? What? What did he say? One of the original players <laughs> from the Himalaya. You don't need that much seasoning because of that mayonnaise. So let's just swirl it all up. I know it really does look like tuna. Let me try it. It's good. Now, let's make this sandwich. But for me, like I love tomatoes and onions and that's it. You can put cheese on there and kind of make it like a melt, but I'm just gonna do some bread, tomatoes and onions. Make sure you wash your tomatoes. We don't play those games, okay? If it ain't squeaking, we ain't eating. I'm gonna use the purple onions because I use white onions for the tuna. And I don't know about y'all, but I love onions. But I'm never gonna smell like them though. I'd just rather be safe than sorry. Now that the onions are cut and some slices of the tomatoes, let's get our bread. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'll show you how big of a piece I cut off. That's how big it's gonna be. Since my uh, tuna has like enough mayonnaise in there, it's up to you guys. You guys can put more mayonnaise and mustard in there. <clears throat> I really don't wanna put too much mayonnaise on mine. So let's get to it. Mm -hmm. 
put your tomatoes on there. Ever many onions you guys like. I put all the tomatoes, all the onions on there. Like I said, you guys can dress it with with whatever you like. Um, you can put some lettuce on there too. But like I said, I like mine's pretty simple because I don't want it to take away from the chickpea. I don't know if y'all can see. You should see your tea face behind her. <laughs> she's looking at me like, I want to taste this. She's ready. That's good. I tell you, I tell you. You can even put like some cheese on this. I love cheese. I don't know about y'all, I love cheese. I tell you, I tell you. I tell you if it's good or not. You can tell it's good. If I got all over me, can you get with it or? Are you good? Are you good? Are you good? Are you I'm back <laughs> with a food change. So this is gonna be fun, quick, and easy as well. We have Persian cucumbers, which is the best. Three avocados, which I probably will only use maybe like two. Cilantro, jalapeno, and red onion, and a lemon. It's not right here, but I have one. You need a lemon too. And we're gonna call this avocado salad. I make it all the time. I love to eat it with more cucumbers or I eat it with chips. So let's get into it. First, let's get the cucumbers and we're gonna cut them up. I would say dice them up. I'm gonna use two. Wash them off really good. It ain't squeaking, we ain't eating. <laughs> you know, it's funny, I, uh, when I was younger, you couldn't get me in the kitchen for nothing. I was only there ready to eat like LT. Use me, use me as a tester, please. Ever since I started this vegan journey of mine, this vegan lifestyle, it's just so much fun to try and recreate things out of vegetables, <laughs> out of fruit. It's crazy what you can create, so. When I became a vegan, my mind just started like going wild with different things that we can make and uh, use alternative uh, things for, like meat and cheese. Oh man, yes, LT is really the one who persuaded me to start cooking. I don't know what happened. Like when we first got together and when she started cooking for me and stuff, she was the soul provider of food because of cooking. Now, we're, look, where is she at? Right here. <laughs> Waiting for me to be done cooking. I'm right here ready to eat. That's what I should be doing. Distract me and eat. So why don't I cut myself? Yeah, that's why, that's why I, I'm trying her so she can be able to cook. Trying me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let me find out I'm a dog. Never. No, I would. If it wasn't for me, she wouldn't be cooking no vegan nothing. So everybody that got the vegan blessings, y'all better thank me. <laughs> no, but I'm glad that she cooked she good. She cooked very good. Um, I don't know if you, if you, if you got a passion for when you got in the kitchen, but when you got in the kitchen, you start cooking all the games. Well, I do come from a family of women that know how to throw down in the kitchen. Like the macaroni and cheese that you don't mind eating just because you don't know her, that like type of food. My mom don't play like, what? Listen, my mom used to make everything taste like chicken. Sorry, mom, if this sounds bad, but she made rice taste good. Just everything like has, Top ramen noodles? No, wasn't coming out like that. She made it like gourmet. What? Like gourmet, chopped up a lot of different things. It wasn't just no 
seasoning pack and noodles. Y'all know me, y'all know mom. Y'all know it's like Jamaican is different. We got a whole, our seasoning game is just crazy. I ain't gonna lie, that's just what it is. Everybody in family know how to cook, right? Yeah, all my brothers and sisters know how to cook. We all cook, we all cook different. We all got our like own favorite things that we cook too. We yeah. all know how to cook. I come from a cooking family. Everybody know how to cook. The girls, the boys, it don't matter. Everybody it just, know how to cook. it just took me a little longer to get on that bandwagon. Cause my mom spoiled me. I'm my mom's only child and everything I wanted, she cooked me or we went to go out to eat and go get it. She never impressed me to be in the kitchen. She told me I should be, but I said where I should be is um, in the kitchen ready for the food to be done. So I chopped up the cucumbers, kind of diced them up. Now I'm gonna cut the, uh, I'm gonna dice the avocado as well. I'm gonna wash off this jalapeno and we only need one. You can use the whole thing if it's a nice size. Baby, you like spicy food? Of course. Of course. I don't Damn like the spice. I don't like nothing spicy. It took me until I turned 25 to start liking like hot sauce and stuff like that. The jalapeno, you're gonna dice them up super small. Unless you like bigger chunks, but um, I like mine small, so I'm gonna cut it up real small. I like spicy food, just don't be extra. I ain't talking about no like extra flaming hot on top of hot. This shit is getting hot. Mm -hmm. But I do like my my little spice to my little, my little <laughs> kickback. You feel me? Oh, you know what I forgot to tell you guys? We are going to be using tomatoes, but I like to use the cherry tomatoes. Get a better taste for me. I'm going to put them in with the cucumbers. I used the whole jalapeno, diced it up small. It's going to be so much green stuff in here. It's, it's going to be delicious. This is one of LT's favorite from what I make, like real quick. Take me about a good 15 minutes, only the prepping time. You have to dice up everything. So, and it depends on how big or how small you're making it. I'm only gonna use two avocados. And if you guys don't know how to tell when an avocado is ready, I just broke the little stem off right here, but when it's lime green like that, that's how you know it's ready. You know what's funny, me and Elsie were just having a conversation a couple of days ago, talking about like Americans and Jamaicans and the things that we call stuff and the words that they use. And that's a pig. This to us is an avocado. I remember when I heard her mom ask for a pear. I'm like, why does this lady want a pear with her food? She just got done making dinner. She like, oh, it'd be so nice if I just had a, a pear. And I'm like, what is that? I'm thinking fruit. The pear, that's a fruit. Avocado is a fruit. They call uh, avocados pears. And if you're American, you know what I'm talking about. And then for this avocado, for all four halves, I'm just gonna dice them inside the shell already. I know people take them out and cut it, but it's easier for me. So I just did it like that. Put all of the avocado that you didn't diced up inside. Now that you have diced up all the avocado, it should look like this. Go ahead and get you a nice little bunch of cilantro. I love cilantro. If I put cilantro on everything and it tastes good, I would. Dice that up real small because the stems have the most flavor. Alright. Just nicely chopped. 
So after you chop up all the cilantro, we're gonna get us a onion, red onion. I would say about half of the red onion. Love me some onions. So babe. Yes. <laughs> what is your favorite meal that I cook you? Oh, so many. Mm -hmm. So many. Mm -hmm. She's so sweet. <laughs> Cause she be up in there sometimes. Like, girl, what is this? Like, you could have just did a little bit of this. Cause I don't eat certain things. You don't eat like zucchini, Brussels sprout, eggplant. She don't like mushrooms. mushrooms. Asparagus. She definitely eat my Brussels Yummy sprouts. Food them. I like all her food though. She cooks very good, so I just don't eat those type of things. Eggplant, mushrooms. I'm know. not eating no egg. I ain't eating no eggplant. Mushrooms, eggplant, zucchini. What else I don't like? Oh, I'm crying. Bad bitches never cry. What else I don't like? Ooh. Okay. Go ahead and put them uh, diced onions in. <laughs> then, then we're gonna use the cherry tomatoes. You can make the video long. Mm -hmm. Looks like I got my little gloss on her. Well, sous chef. See, but for her, I'd be like, come on, babe, go, go, go. Like, she'd be like, take my time with the food, you know what I'm saying? You see how she's talking? That's how slow the cooking is. I'm gonna get about six of them. Red cells off real good. I'm gonna tell y'all how it tastes. Don't worry, I'm here for y'all. Let y'all know what it really tastes like. Y'all gonna have to eat it through me. If you live in LA, you guys will, you guys will know what, um, what is it called, sweet greens? Yeah, sweet greens, tender greens. I'm dicing up the cherry tomatoes, guys. I know you're like, well girl, if you wanted to dice up tomatoes, you could have got a regular tomatoes, but these tomatoes have better flavor, I should say. If we go to sweet greens, and we want tomatoes on our salad. It's a place that you can make your own salad, you can build one or they have like their own signature ones. But it's kind of like how Subway is. Um, all the stuff's just sitting there. You can tell them which one you want. And they be cutting these, these type of tomatoes in half and it's like, who wants to eat that big old tomato? Like, we love the flavor, flavor, but this is like a big bite that I'm trying to get with lettuce. No. We're almost done. I diced up six of the cherry tomatoes. And then after this, we're gonna uh, put the lemon in there and season it with some salt and pepper and boom, we're done. Like I said, you can eat it with more cucumbers, like sliced cucumbers or tortilla chips, fire. Get your one lemon. If it ain't squeaking, you ain't eating. You only use, need to use half. Go ahead and squeeze that in there. Make sure you catch all those seeds. Mm, mm, mm. After you do that, go ahead and season it however you like. I mean, like I said, I'm just gonna keep it simple, which is some salt and pepper. You can put a little bit of pepper in there if you like. Like I said, I love me some pepper. They already look pretty like this. I don't even know if y'all can see that like that, but it looks pretty like that already. Now you're gonna mix everything up. Don't mush it, mix it. Because you don't wanna make the avocado turn into guacamole. You still want it to kind of be diced. You can kind of break it up because it's probably still stuck together from cutting it in the shell, but just move it around. So good. Okay. 
I should have probably used a bigger bowl, but hey, I'm definitely about to eat this, so it's gonna go down a little bit. Look at this, just green. Fire, some chips. Fire. Gosh, so good. Like I said, you can try with chips, more cucumber, or you can eat it by itself. Here she comes. <laughs> well, I'm supposed to go, what I'm supposed to do. always waiting for the cube. I was waiting for it to be there. It's nice and light, yeah. but fulfilling because of the avocado. Guacamole, pico de gallo, some vegan sour cream. You can get it at any grocery store. And instead of making my own queso, I just went ahead and bought some plant-based queso. A little bit of cheese. I'm gonna put olives on mine, I love olives. Roasted corn. So we're gonna start, we're gonna put everything in this bowl. So we're gonna start with the black refried beans. It's like supposed to be as thick as layer, but uh, I don't know. Maybe my bowl is too big. <laughs> I used to love this dip before I turned into a vegan. I used to get the one from Costco. Fire. So. So after you put the uh, black refried beans as the first layer, you're gonna go now and get your guacamole and make that the second layer. Doesn't have to be a super thick layer, but it has to be a layer. Next layer is gonna be that nacho cheese. See a little thin layer. That's the cheese. Well, not queso on top. And the sour cream. I don't like sour cream. Because she do not like to eat sour cream at all. Stir it up. It gets to be a little softer. You guys didn't see it. Here we go. Put that corn. You can use regular corn, but I got roasted corn just for the flavor. Um, it's just me, but you can use whatever you like. This is like a party dish for sure. TikTok made me do it. Now I'm gonna put pico de gallo instead of salsa. It just tastes fresher. Oh guys, it's so pretty. A little bit of texture with the onions and the tomato and the corn. Now I'm going to put the olives. All right, shall I put the cheese? I think I'll put the cheese and then the olives on top. I got this cheese from Ralph's. It's like their, their plant-based cheese. It's good and it melts. Ooh, it smells like cheddar too. 
As y'all can see, I got just regular olives. Just go ahead and put that on top. Sprinkle them on top or however much you like. Yes, my hands are clean. So do what you like. Mind your business. All right, y'all. I can't wait to just try it, but I don't know if you can see the layers right here, but oh my God. She's gonna come close. She's gonna come close. You see that guac guacamole layer, but you guys. I'm about to try it right now. I like to use the strip ones because I can go further down. You guys can use any chip that you like. Hopefully my shit don't break. Oh. Look like I only was able to go down to the cheese. Oh, I know I got a little bit of guac. the roasted corn because that gave it more of like a kick. Only thing I would change or do myself is the uh, queso. Queso is a little spicy. Hold on now. I wish I can go further down. I'm not to move all this stuff to the side. Mm. Good. All right, you guys. Make sure you comment below which one was the the best one you think looked like. Um. Wow. Y'all need to try this. <clears throat> Leave whatever questions you have at the bottom from wherever I bought it from. The name of things. But this was amazing. And I'm about to do more of these videos. Little quick recipes. This is a party recipe right here. But thank you so much you guys for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, and share with a friend. All right, y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can you stop cussing for no reason? Oh my bad. It's I'm gonna use the purple tomatoes because I already put the white onions. It's purple tomatoes. Share. Sure. You know what I'm dealing with. Welcome back to. Ugh. We're gonna cut that. To LS Gang. Oh, yeah. Till next time. Pick it with Chardonnay. Put up all 50-50 I was missing out with the whiskey